Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet an old-fashioned street light, which was a request I received. When crocheted using 8-ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size will be 5cm wide by 28cm or 2 inches wide by 11cm. The medium street light crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 3cm wide by 19cm or 1.25 inches wide by 7.5 inches. The small street light crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 2cm wide by 15cm or 1 inch wide by 5 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be slightly smaller than the large street light. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 110 black, 281 tangerine and 280 lemon. I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and also the black to use for a bit of embroidery and I have scissors. I'll be starting at the base of the post there. I've got my 110, the black and we start with 8 chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, Put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. Then we work one half double crochet in the next chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we work one double crochet in each of the following three chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. So we needed one double crochet in each of the next two stitches as well. We have two chain left, we work one half double crochet into the next one and one single crochet into the last chain. The different stitches just gives it a bit of a curved base. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the seven stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got 3 loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches
and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches one single crochet into the next stitch and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work a join single crochet over the three stitches. We put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the middle stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There are four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we're going to work 33 chain for the post part. So 33 chain. And that's my 33 chain. For row 6 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. Once we've finished the single crochet in the chain, we spin the bottom around and slip stitch into that last stitch. So we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. 
and that's the post done. We're going to work a neatening row just round the bottom part of just one slip stitch in each stitch. So just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook and work a slip stitch in each stitch. For neatening rows it can be easier to use a finer hook. It just makes it easier to get your hook into the stitch. and slip stitch in the last stitch before the chain and fasten off. And that's the post part done. We'll work the light bulb next. For the light bulb I've got my 280 the lemon and I start with three chain. I work the first one a little bit loose and then the last two is fairly tight. For row one, I work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook, so the loose one. And then you can pull that tight by the tail. For row two, start with two chain and turn our work. And we're going to work a three double crochet cluster in our stitch. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. There are three loops on the hook. Put the yarn around the hook, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. There are four loops on the hook. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then fasten off. And that's a light bulb. For the lamp, I've got my 281, the tangerine, and we start with six chain. For row one, we miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have four stitches. For row two, we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet in the first stitch. And then one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have five stitches.
For row two, we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. And one half double crochet in each stitch to the end will have six stitches. For row four, we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. and one half double crochet in each stitch to the end will have seven stitches. And that's the lamp done. We fasten off. Our neatening row will be done with the black. So I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with my black and we'll work the neatening row and the base. For the neatening row I've got my 110, the black, and we join on the narrower end, the bottom, not on the bottom but the first stitch on the side, so this stitch here. and work one slip stitch in each stitch up the side. And I'm working a slip stitch into the last stitch in the side. And then I work one chain and I'm going to work two single crochet in the same stitch as the last slip stitch. And then one single crochet in each stitch along the top. In the first stitch on the side, we work two single crochet. One chain and slip stitch in the bottom of the last single crochet. And then one slip stitch in each stitch down the side to the last stitch on the side. I'm at the last stitch on the side. I work one chain and work two single crochet into that same place and then one single crochet in each of the four stitches along the bottom and then into the corner where we joined we work two single crochet And that's the neatening row done. We don't fasten off. Now for the base of the lamp, we turn our work and slip stitch into the second stitch. And work two chain. We work a joined half double crochet 
over the next two stitches we put out we put the yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then we work a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches as well so yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops through all the loops sorry and then we work two chain and turn our work and we'll work a joined half double crochet over the two stitches so the same as we did the last two times for row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into our stitch for row four we start with one chain and turn and we could either work one single crochet in the stitch if you want your pole the same width or you could do something fancy um, and work maybe three half double crochet into that stitch if you'd like so either one single crochet or three half double crochet That would just make it jut out just before the join. And then we fasten off. I'm going to leave a bit of a longer tail because I'll use it to join it to the pole. So that's the lamp and the bottom part done. We'll work the top part next. We join our black to the second stitch along the top. So this stitch here. And work one chain. We work a join single crochet over the same stitch as the join in the next stitch. So we put the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop and then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take a hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. We leave the remaining stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row four we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch and then work three chain. For row 6 we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and one single crochet into the last chain and then slip stitch into the last stitch from row 5 and fasten off.
and that's the lamp done. That's all our pieces worked. I'll weave in the ends except for this this one and then I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the pole, the lamp and the light bulb. The first thing I'll do is embroider the little filament to the light bulb and then using the black from the filament I'll attach it to the bottom the the lamp base so just in there just stitch the black across the yellow and onto the black of the base. Now the light bulb's just stitched on by the bottom I'll attach it with yellow thread right round it and then using my black Katona cotton I'll just put the two lines down each side of the light bulb. The last thing we do is attach the lamp part to, to the pole using the leftover yarn. So just up in there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished street light. And there's the finished street light. The size is 4 cm wide by 24 cm or 1.5 inches wide by 9.5 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.